I guess you guys get the idea. We got some microphone going on. What could it be? Well, let me tell you. Two of them not plugged in. Yeah, that's the way it's going to be. I'm going to have to do some editing. I'll tell you what's going on. Mike Fly, BBX. He said, hello, Mr. Brown. Let me tell you, in an approximate English, I'm French. Ah, bonjour, Mike Fly. Ça va? Ça va bien. Merci. I like your voice a lot. Thank you. Nothing to do with me. I got landed with it, but there it is. Thank you for your amazing mic reviews, too. My pleasure. I'm a beatboxer. I try to sing, too. And I use a looper to make my music. Could you give me an advice, please? Mikael. Wasn't sure what he's asking. Goes on. Well, I've got some idea. I'll try Audix RM7, Sennheiser E945. Uh huh. He, he probably knows I got that one. Sure, Beta 58. Uh huh. Bayer Dynamic V70. Uh huh. And if you release a video about it, I'd be happy, of course, and receive a notification because I subscribe to your channel as well. So I, I'm guessing, but I don't beatbox. Well, I thought I'd give it a go. What would be required, I thought. Well, a little bit concerned about the um, condenser, if only because um, they don't like moisture and stuff, but I'm only going to be doing a short bit. And if we were thinking of a condenser, this is a very expensive condenser. This is a Earthworks SR40V. I may be getting in touch with Earthworks and say, do you think? I mean, really, it should do, because if you're singing, uh, it's, it's going to get, yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just being a bit um, daft, really. I thought, what do we need then? We need, uh, I think, not being a beatboxer, frequency response from the low to the high, because you need it for the boof, surely. And t this one, I'm expecting not to have any accentuation, but just to be extended. <clears throat> you mentioned this one. Beta 58. That's what this is. I was looking, there's an A, isn't there? This is a slightly earlier one, whatever. And then I thought, of course, Biodynamic M88. And I thought, why not get out? The new version, which I rarely sees the light of day because I like the, the classic old one. And actually, I'm going to have to go between this and the old one because when I got it out and tested it, I thought, hmm, all that moaning I've been doing. I'm not sure if... Hmm. What else? Some dynamics. So the one he mentioned, the Sennheiser E945. And then, of course, uh, the other one he mentioned, the Bayer V70D. So what are we going to do? I'm going to have a go at this beatboxing business. Though I can't do it, I don't think. And I've just got these three plugged in and balanced up as best I can. So I'm just going to go, I'm just going to simply go through, do what I do, give myself a bit of hoodoo. A bit of hoodoo on there. Let me give myself some hoodoo right now. I don't want too much hoodoo. Is that hoodoo? That's number three. I used to use number seven. Let's try number seven. Oh. No, that's not going to work. It just gets in the way, doesn't it? Uh, where's number seven? There's number seven. Bring it down or bring a bit more. A bit more hoodoo. Hoodoo. There we go. I'm just going to go through them and just eliminate for me. And you can hear and see what you think. But for my voice and for whatever it is I'm doing, I'm just going to go through and eliminate from these three and then plug the other two in and eliminate and eliminate and see what I'm left with that seems uh, viable to me. I suppose, because I can't help myself, I'm just going to go on and speak into the, uh, the, the M88. This is the M88 then. This is the M88. We can hear a brooding thing. Does it need to come up? Uh, I've matched them with the others here, I think, so I'll leave it. I think probably this one's up a bit more. Let's get rid of it. We're done. Thank you very much. Up you go. Yeah. There's a bit of that, isn't there? It goes low, though, so most mics are going to do it. You can have this. If I'm going to be beatboxing, then I'm going to put this on. This little hat. Foam hat. Sorry about the noise. Per, 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 per. So it makes the per a bit more... <laughs> what does a beatboxer do? 
what does a beatboxer do? Does something like Straight on the SR40V. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Straight on with the shore. Beater. Okay, well, out of those, the beater goes. Out of those, the beater goes. Yeah, not, not enough low end, too much. Just, um, yeah. So, I'm going to unplug this. Plug this in and try it. Go back through till we get down to the last two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sennheiser E945 added to the mix immediately. Sennheiser. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, well, we're beatboxing, so let's see. So far, it's in with a chance. Let's compare it to go back through the SR40V. To me, so far, SR40V is boss, but it's expensive. So now, let me go between these two and see which one of these is going to go. The Biodynamic M88, new version, taking the little hood off. The Biodynamic M88, new version. The Sennheiser E9, ooh, the Sennheiser E945. The Sennheiser, 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 Sennheiser. Not the Sennheiser, not the Sennheiser, not the Sennheiser. Mm, that Sennheiser's got some push, isn't it? Here we go. Buyer. Is that too much? Is that too much? I'm gonna go and get a. I'm gonna go and get a old school buyer because I'm not, I don't know. This, the Sennheiser, I think probably not enough real welly for beatboxing, depending on what you want at the low end, and a little bit nasty at the top. Maybe a little too much, I think. So I'm gonna swap this one out with the Biodynamic 
V70. Okay, I'm on the biodynamic V70. 70s. Got some of that top, but not as much top as that Sennheiser, I don't feel. Let's just go for it, and then I'm going to go and switch to the SR40V, which is, for the moment, for me, clearly uh, leading them, but we'll see. Is it too loud? Oh, sorry, can't. I'm on the 40V. So, uh, yeah, for me so far, the 40V's doing it between this buyer and this buyer, and then I'm going to get old school buyer. The uh, 70D. Smoother, isn't it? Is that enough? Yeah. Do you like that? Just so honest, isn't it? The 40V. Okay. Un momento, por favorinho. Swapping out the uh, the new biodynamic M88. Swapping out the new biodynamic 88 to the older version. Older version. Mm. I'm going to adjust the volume because this is a uh, neodymium, I believe. Here's the older version. Here's the older version. I just uh, turned it up a bit. Yeah, they're very similar, aren't they? Let's try. Bring it closer. enough okay I'll tell you what I'm thinking I think this one works well it's relatively inexpensive it's got the push it's got the top end I'm just gonna be coarse here uh, all right the the m88 works as well smoother so for beatboxing I don't know you got a new new voice it depends it's a smoother version it seems to me it's almost a bit too classy. Hold on a second. Almost a bit too classy. Hold on a second. Almost a bit too classy. Hold on a second. Almost a bit too classy. There's a slight difference between them, isn't there? Either way, either way, I think almost a bit too classy for the beatboxing, so I'll get rid of the M88s. Not bothering to match up the sound, but going straight into Sennheiser, just going to do it. But as I say, yeah, can you hear that? And uh, I don't know, might suit your voice. If it depends on your voice, doesn't it? You've got to try it. So for me, though, uh, the Sennheiser is out as well. Give the Shaw one more go. Two shut in and just uh, 
just uh, no, yeah, not very, just dull and uh, not very nice at all. I don't for me anyway. Uh, it's got a certain something nice about it, but if I think what we're doing, it just hasn't got enough of it's too much of all that sort of flapping around. So what are we left with? We're left with then the SR forty V and the uh, seven V seventy D. V seventy D now. SR40V now, which I'm going to turn up just a bit. Trying to balance them up. Finish it off then. Okay, you have to be a bit careful with uh, the V70. I think it works well enough, and it's uh, reasonably, reasonably inexpensive. So we left them to me, the clear winner for me. I think on my advice, and not knowing what I'm doing really, this beatboxing thing is a rather expensive option of the SR40V. Uh, when I hear it, it's just so much clearer, but comes at a cost doesn't it and it's a condenser so you need phantom power and blasting into it with a lot of breath over a many hours should be okay ask earthworks get in touch and say what do you think i'm thinking of doing this <laughs> do i still get the 15 year guarantee or whatever it is <laughs> see what they say anyway there you go mikhail hope that was of some uh, some uh, some helped you i'll catch you later